Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna be upgrading the uh, the factory speakers on my 2006 uh, Nissan X Trail. These are six and a half uh, inch uh, speakers. So I'll be showing how to remove the uh, driver side door as well as the rear driver side door to get the speaker out and uh, install new ones. I'll be using the um, the factory speakers as my um, spacers, and I'll show you how to do that. So let's set the camera up. I'll show you how to take your uh, door panel apart. And so I'll show you how to remove the uh, door panel first. Uh, it's fairly simple. Uh, only a few uh, tools you need: small uh, flathead screwdriver, 10 mil socket, and a panel removing tool. So first thing we'll do is uh, remove this uh, piece here, as well as the uh, trim around the uh, door handle. And at the bottom, you won't be able to see, but it'll be the uh, the light the driver side door light so first uh, we'll start with this trim piece here we we'll start at the back side of it with a small five inch screwdriver and I'll pop this out or sorry it was the front side that I did there you go and then I just take that off front of the door there's a small notch that you will to uh, insert your um, panel removal tool or a flathead flat screwdriver so get your top here pop it up and slide it slide back you can get your removal tool so small opening here pop that one up then to the middle here back of the handle And then pull straight up, just like that. You will get to two connectors here. You want to remove both. Now, uh, for the light, we want to take that off before we remove the panel. Otherwise, you're going to have to hold the panel while trying to unplug it. So, you put the bottom here. Remove that one. And a small. Uh, here, pop it off, remove the light. The last thing here, there's gonna be four uh, screws one, two, three, and four. You can either use a 10 mil socket or a uh, Phillips uh, screwdriver if you like. So I'm gonna use my socket in my All right, once you've got that done, uh, all you're gonna do is come to the bottom of the door. Panel removing tool. There should be a small lip over here towards the, the light. Put that in there and pull towards you. Once you get the first one done, you can kind of use your fingers come around and start popping it off. Once you get that done, as you can see, it came loose right away. It was just lifted straight up and out. And there is the driver's door panel. Now that we got the door panel off, we'll remove the, uh, the speaker. Uh, so one thing I'm going to do is unplug the harness here. So small flathead screwdriver, push that in there, pull it straight out. And for the actual speaker, again it has, it'll have three Phillips uh, screws or you can use your uh, 10 mil socket as well. So. So now, you're simply going to grab it and pull it straight out. If you've never taken them before, you can use your panel removing tool and just pick an edge. You can get into it and pull it out. And there is the uh, factory speaker. Nothing fancy, of course. Uh, so yeah, that's what it is. So we'll uh, now move over to the uh, back door and do that one as well. Alright, so the uh, rear driver's door is pretty much the exact same thing. I'm going to remove the trim piece here, start at the front with this one, uh, and then that will only have three uh, screws on it. So.
All right, so there we've done the, uh, the passenger door that we replaced for the rear driver's door. As you can see, this is the speaker I already have out, uh, but I did put the panel back on just to show you. Uh, so to remove the other two is exact same procedure. Uh, so now let's take the speakers inside and I'll show you what you can do next. All right, so now that we got the, uh, the speaker out. This is the factory speaker here, as you can see. Nothing fancy at all, but it's a uh, molded system. So it's all a spacer with a speaker in it. So I'm gonna show you how to go from here to here. This is a new speaker. Of course, I'm out there we're using the uh, factory spacer, and this is all done. So I'm gonna show you from, from here to the speaker to this. This is the new speaker on its own. And it's an Alpine SS65 coaxial speaker. Real nice speaker, which makes a huge difference. So using this one, I'll be able to uh, use this as my spacer for the new ones and they'll fit just right. So a few tools that you'll need if you don't have a Dremel. If you have a Dremel, this will be a lot easier because with a Dremel, you'll be able to just go and cut things rather quickly. Now, I don't have one, so what I'll be using is a uh, flathead screwdriver a uh, serrated knife, just any knife should do as long as it's got these teeth on it uh, and then you're also going to need uh, wire cutters something like this uh, and then of course to mount the speakers any hardware that was included with the speakers you have so in this case I'll be using the uh, screws provided as well as the little uh, speaker harness so uh, first things first I'll show you how to take these apart so let me uh, set this up and we'll get started Okay, so now we got the uh, old speaker out. This is what uh, you will have left, which will become our our spacer. Uh, so next thing I'll do is um, with the speaker terminals here for the uh, the two wires. What I've gone done ahead, they were fl uh, flat like this. Now I, I bend them inwards. Uh, the reason is when I put the speaker in, uh, before I put the speaker in, anyways, I'll be soldering the uh, the speaker harness here and uh, I will go and test it out uh, because I'll, again I'll be using the factory connector uh, and I know uh, when I test this out that my left here this pin is my positive this pin is my negative so I'll be able to solder that and straight to the speaker and plug that in I don't have to drill any other holes or get any adapters for that uh, so again I'll be soldering that because that way it's easier to do without the speaker in uh, so let me get that one done and then uh, we'll put in the speaker. So you see I got uh, four screws on there uh, as they should be. Uh, I'm not going to grab the drill but I'm not going to put this down on the table because always it will push the speaker up and I don't want it to go uh, to move on me. So I will uh, go and go ahead and start uh, with the drill. Like I said I just used them uh, finger tight and then I used uh, the screwdriver to put them in uh, as far as they could go down and then now I will use the uh, drill to get it in the rest of the way. Okay then, so we've I got the uh, speaker mounted now. You can see there's four screws, one, two, three and four. Uh, they go in nice, nice and easy. So when I did them, I put them through. I didn't uh, finish them all the way down with the drill. I just did them 
left, uh, I don't know, less than a quarter inch, and then I did it by hand slowly. Um, then here you're able to see some of them. So there's one right there. There's another one over here by the speaker wire. The one here and the one at the bottom there. But as you can see, there is no issues with them going in. Now the speaker is on there and it fits just perfect. Uh, and then this is why I wanted to solder this, the connect the wires, uh, before putting the speaker in because you know how much space between the speaker and, uh, and the terminals here. So I didn't want to put too much heat on it and damage it. So now that that's done, I've gone and run out wire and uh, connected them both. Okay, so now we're back at the car. We've got the uh, first speaker here. I'm gonna start on the driver's side door. I'm gonna work our way back to the uh, front passenger. So I'm gonna do everything uh, as we did before. So we'll go our new speaker. Let's put it in here. There you go, it's uh, working now, so we know there's no issues there. So we'll just uh, start uh, putting our uh, panels back together. So yeah, that's what uh, it sounds like. Uh, pretty clear, uh, decent uh, mid bass and whatnot. Uh, so yeah, that's how I installed some uh, speakers in a 2006 uh, Nissan X Trail. Uh, doing it a longer, harder way, I guess you can call it. But I don't mind, I don't mind putting the extra work for what I do. So, uh, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Comments, questions, let me know. 